The Center for Reproductive Sciences uh, has a long tradition of uh, research. It was uh, founded in 1977. At present, uh, we have a very broad portfolio of research that really addresses major questions in different aspects of the reproductive cycle. Its mission is to advance um, molecular and genomic medicine and translational science and basic biomedical science in uh, the reproductive space. Our investigators work on placental biology, on germ cell biology, on implantation and also early development. Laboratories in the lab have made major contribution to understanding the signals that are involved in uh, ovulation of a fertilizable egg, for instance. We have identified new networks of genes that are essential for development of an embryo and for establishing pluripotent stem cells. Our RMC discovery was very much how we got into broadening up our horizons beyond the genes themselves and starting to look at the environment that surrounds when, when the fetus when it's developing. One of my students uh, and a postdoc working with her noticed that the cells were growing very well in both of these conditions that we were testing, but in one particular one they expressed certain genes that they didn't in the other. And those genes turned out to all be genes associated with germline development. What the germline is, is the mother cells with the gametes in the fetus. So while the fetus is still in the womb, it's already starting to make the precursors of the sperm or the eggs, depending on the sex of the fetus. So those cells express a very specific set of genes, as you can imagine. Those are very, they're really fundamental cells for the survival of the species and even evolution. So what we found out is that these genes were regulated by some component that that medium had. And we had to break down that component or that medium into its very different, um, various different ingredients until we found out that the culprit was vitamin C. It was the vitamin C in that medium that we could just take it and not the rest of the ingredients, add it to the other medium that didn't have its effect, and now recapitulate this induction of germline genes. Normally, the placenta has a very unusual feature. It has many cancer-like properties, and its specialized cells take over a woman's uterus during pregnancy, much like a tumor takes over a normal organ. We found that in many pregnancy complications, this cancer-like phenotype fails to fully materialize, and as the result, the placenta is only very shallowly attached to the mother's uterus. I think precision medicine has, has a lot of potential in, in women's health because we will have the opportunity to have a lot of data pertaining to both the genome and potentially other components with big, big data approaches to really understand what is it that distinguishes different individuals that look to have similar uh, diseases but don't respond to the drugs that we've usually been using to treat those diseases in the same way. And what that means is that we've really been using very brute force approaches to treat disease where different patients respond differently because they have different causes of how they got to that state. I think in all fields of biology, um, the windfall of sequencing and analyzing big data is being infused into what we do and we're thinking about sequencing single, um, single cells. So this is going to help us understand how do cells differ from one another? Um, what's the variation between cells um, on a genetic level and on an epigenetic level? And this is something that we can really start to approach. We have huge strength in all of the areas of reproduction um, at, for investigation. And we have um, faculty who are very talented and trainees who are very energized about science as a career. And so putting it all together, it is a very special place. I think there is a lot of work to do. I mean, we're just at the beginning. There are a lot of aspects that are obscure and a lot of causes of infertilities are not known. And I think that it's very important for the patients to know exactly what they have and what are our chances of correcting uh, the disease and helping them uh, become pregnant. <laughs>